Anthony James Heathen O.B. born October 11, 1954 is a British sculptor, disability rights activist and arts administrator, who was awarded an O.B. in 2013 for services to the arts and the disability arts movement. He was CEO of the arts charity Shape until March 2017. In 2012, he won the competition to produce an installation celebrating Channel 4's involvement in the London 2012 Paralympic Games. This produced his monument for the unintended performer. Early years Heaton was born in Preston, Lancashire, in 1954, the son of a coppersmith. When, at the age of 16, the motorbike accident left him with a spinal injury, he switched from a comprehensive school to a local arts college at Southport. From 1972, he was self-employed as artist, sign writer, disc jockey, record shop proprietor, progressive rock band member and mural painter. According to a disability arts online profile, at this period Vedan gathered enormous expertise and self-reliance whilst appearing to drift aimlessly. In 1986 he enrolled on a visual arts degree at Lancaster University whilst earning a living as a sign painter. A contemporary of Andy Goldsworthy, Heaton experimented with environmental sculpture on sands at Morecam Bay. Lancaster's head of sculpture, Paul Hatton, noted that the marks left by Heaton were immediately distinguishable from the footprints of his fellow students and urged him to develop work about this. Heaton states that, a chance comment about how the marks left in the sand by my feet and crutches made my tracks immediately identifiable became the catalyst for a whole series of works relating to disability and my interaction with the environment. Heaton exhibited a plaster cast of his feet and stick imprints, his first piece of disability art. Artistic career Heaton's early sculptures often use what Disability Arts in London magazine described as the everyday impedimento of disability collecting cans, NHS wheelchairs, x-rays, part end of the building regulations. But his work contradicts the normal associations of such materials by turning them into profound and joyously witty statements about the nature of our oppression. An early piece, Spring Back 1990, is an assemblage including a spinal x-ray juxtaposed above the shock absorber springs of a scrapped motorcycle, referring to the accident which caused his impairment and the metal strengthening spring placed inside his spine. Shaken Not Stirred 1991 consisted of a 7 feet high pyramid of 1,760 charity collecting cans, its ascending ranks of red plastic referring to the hierarchical nature of the charity system. The whole edifice was brought crashing to the ground when Heaton threw an artificial leg at it suggesting that the hierarchical system could be destroyed by the collective power of disabled people. As his work has developed, it has embodied ideas about disability and impairment. For instance, Split 1995 is a wood carving made from a piece of ash discarded by a wood turner is useless because it has a shake, a fault running through it. Heaton saw this as indicative of a society that sees only perfection and disregards all that is damaged or perceived as impaired. The 1994 sculpture Great Britain from a wheelchair is a map of Britain made from two great NHS wheelchairs. A delightful game, it forms a wonderful repudiation of the value judgment this is for some tragic bastard, in Heaton's words implicit in the wheelchairs. An image of this work was chosen by the National Disability Arts Collection and Archive as an example of work from the golden age of disability arts. During the 2012 Paralympics Heaton was invited to redesign Great Britain from a wheelchair as lecterns for Lord Cohen and Sir Philip Craven during the opening and closing ceremonies. In 2012, he was commissioned to produce Monument to the Unintended Performer, an installation for the Big Four sculpture sited outside Channel 4's offices. It brought together three elements in addition to the Big Four the first based on the classical Greek sculpture Discobolus, the discus thrower, evoking the spirit of the Olympics, the second element, a circle, representing the wheel of the international symbol of access, and lastly, the introduction of gold, silver, and bronze considers hierarchy. Heaton stated I wanted to use the structure of the Big Four as one of four elements that would fuse together to form a new cohesive piece, which would provoke thought and celebrate Channel 4's involvement and commitment to the Paralympics. The subtext is the assertion that disabled people are almost always the object of scrutiny and curiosity. Gold Lamb included in the 2014 exhibition Art of the Lived Experiment, is an invalid car covered in gold leaf. The title puns on the word lame. Heaton states that the Invade car has been transformed from prosthetic to sculpture, transmuted from spaz blue to gold, from lame to lamb, mirroring his own life adjustments, where he says, I transmuted from biker to invalid. Holton Lee From 1997 to 2007, Heaton was based in Dorset, 
as director of the Holton Lee Trust which offers a mix of environmental, artistic, and spiritual activities, with short-stay residential facilities for disabled people, in an SSSI comprising 350 acres of woodland, reed bed, and heathland landscape adjacent to Pool Harbor. Heaton developed a 10-year strategic plan for the organization a contemporary arts and education program based on a series of accessible buildings including a gallery and artist studios, which would enable a new program of artistic work, a growth in residential capacity and a focus for disability arts. All the buildings would use local materials blending in with Holt and Lee's natural surroundings. The first of these, Faith House Gallery. Designed by Tony Threaton was hailed by Jonathan Glancy and The Guardian as one of the most beautiful new buildings in Britain. In 2002, he had organized the DA21 Disability Arts Conference at Holton Lee. He also planned the inaugural conference to discuss the establishment of what would become the National Disability Arts Collection and Archive. The idea then envisaged was to create a purpose-built archive as part of the developing Holton Lee campus. This was abandoned after he had moved on. NACA will now take the form of an interactive website and catalog, after receiving funding of nearly $1 million from the Heritage Lottery Fund in 2015. SHAPE In 2007 Heaton became CEO of SHAPE Arts, the arts and disability charity founded by dancer Gina Levitt. He brought to the organization a new emphasis on disability arts and professional opportunities for artists. He instituted the Adam Reynolds Memorial Bursary which provides three-month bursaries for disabled artists to undertake residencies at leading visual arts institutions. These have included the Victoria and Albert Museum, Camden Arts Centre, Spike Island, the Baltic Centre for Contemporary Art, the Blue Coat Gallery and New Art Gallery Walsall. The bursary is named after the late sculptor, with whom he had a close friendship. Early winners were Caroline Cardis, Aaron Williamson, Sally Booth, and Nomi Lockmayer. He also created the Shape Open an annual open exhibition of artwork by disabled and non-disabled artists created in response to a disability-centered theme. The exhibition's patron is Yinka Shanabare, at whose guest project Space in Hackney, London the 2016 exhibition took place. Heaton has announced that he will stand down as CEO in 2017 and become chair of the organization. Order of the British Empire Heaton was awarded an OBE in the Queen's Birthday Honours, 2013, for services to the arts and the disability arts movement. Exhibitions 2016 Art, Life, Activism Contemporary Art and the Politics of Disability Attenborough Arts Centre Leicester Cool Curator and Exhibitor 2015 Art of the Lived Experiment, Dido Fest, Liverpool, and UICA Urban Institute for Contemporary Arts Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA 2010 Flux, The Brewhouse Gallery Taunton, Somerset. 2008 Tate Modern, Architecture Inside Out, Rotate a Collaborative Intervention Slash Performance in the Turbine Hall. 2005 Sherborne House, Dorset, Joint Exhibition with Peter Ursum. 2002 Disability Arts at ICI, Head Office Lancaster Square, London, Exhibition of Great Britain from a Wheelchair and Zen Men. 1995 Exposed Great Britain from a Wheelchair, Solo Exhibition. Diorama Gallery, London, featured on From the Edge, BBC TV. 1995 Unleashed, Images and Experience of Disability, Lang Art Gallery, Newcastle upon Tyne. 1991 Euroday Disability Arts Festival, Installation Shaken Not Stirred, featured on BBC TV. 1990 Out of Ourselves, Diorama Gallery, London. 1988 Regional Finalist, Unipart Reflections of Technology Award for Original Sculpture Exhibition at Yorkshire Sculpture Park, Bretton Hall, Yorkshire. Commissions 2014 Commission to Create the Sculpture Gold Land for the Exhibition Art of the Lived Experiment, Blue Coat Gallery Liverpool. 2014 Commission by Channel 4 TV to create the film Brie of Nothing of Slaughter as part of the 14-18 Commemoration of World War I. 2012 Winner Channel 4 TV Competitive Commission to create a sculptural intervention with the Big Four structure outside the Channel 4 building to celebrate the Paralympics. 2012 Locog, London Organizing Committee for the Olympic Games, commissioned to create sculptural lecterns for Lord Sebastian Coe and Sir Philip Craven based on the sculpture Great Britain from a Wheelchair. 2006 Art Plus Award for Art in Public Places, a 50,000 commission to create Square and Thesircle, a permanent public sculpture for Portsmouth University School of Architecture. 
1997 Gray Mara's Public Sculpture Commission for Manchester City Council, as a result of a competition organized by Community Arts Northwest, cited at Beswick. Residencies 2004 12 Arco Arte, Carrara, Italy, Annual Marble Carving Workshops with Boutros Ron Hein. 1996 Sculpture Residency East Midlands Shape. 1995 Buried Overground, Collaborative Workshop with Arc Leaves. Awards OBE, 2013 Queen's Birthday Honors. 2006 Art Plus Award for Art in Public Places. 1988 Regional Finalist, Unipart Reflections of Technology Award for Original Sculpture. Other information. Heaton was chosen by artist Tanya Robb, in an interview with BBC Ouch, as one of her ideal dinner guests, along with Michael Caine, Frida Kahlo, her husband Diego Rivera, because he's a womanizer and I think he'd get on marvelously with Tony Heaton and her best friend, Anne Young.